welcome to this second vlog. I am here once again because uh, I didn't do any intros or out outros during the middle of the day like I probably should do but I can never quite work out when in the day I should do it so maybe it does make sense doing this kind of thing where you do it post. Anyway I'm rambling so <laughs> in this episode um, we've got um, the we've got uh, the oh, what have we got we got the Snow White ride and um, a parade. Uh, we also wander back to Santa Fe, we do a little room tour, we have a little wander around, see what's going on, and uh, yeah, um, you know, it's my first evening as a solo traveller in Disneyland Paris, so um, obviously it's very exciting for me, uh, and hopefully you uh, you enjoy the journey too. Right, I'll stop rambling, let's, uh, let's get on with the vlog. <laughs> okay, as we were passing, it's only 10 minutes for the Snow White ride, I think, uh, I think 10 minutes is okay. It's not too bad of a queue. Let's go ride Snow White. Wonder what uh, place your bets now for what uh, dwarf we get on our ride vehicle. I'm going to bet on um, Bashful. <laughs> That's only because I've literally just seen <laughs> that ride vehicle and I think it might have come round by the time we get to the front. <laughs> Place your bets. And you are the winner, if you guessed, Doc. Here we go. Oh, I absolutely love these classic rides. Scary trees. They are quite creepy, aren't they? Those two. Like, the dwarfs are fine. I think dwarfs look good. Those two are really creepy, though. Why, why are they trying to make them so realistic? Like, even the horses looks like a horse. It's so strange. I'm in the uh, Sir Mickey's and because it's been refurbished uh, from the outside it kind of looks closed so it's nice and quiet in here actually um, I've just seen <laughs> this bag and I really really like it I'm very tempted but I don't need another rucksack I've got the one I've got um, uh, that I've brought on this trip and I've bought for this trip uh, and for future trips so I shouldn't need another one <laughs> I need to stop myself. There's too many things I want to buy in this uh, in this series already. Um, it's, it's scary. Um, oh, I like this. I love books like this. The Art of Disneyland. 
Paris, 50 euros. Mm, I do like books like that, but I'm not sure if I need to spend 50 pounds on a book that I'll probably flick through a couple of times. <laughs> oh, here's a load of Small World stuff. This is nice. I mean, I'd never <laughs> buy these or wear them or anything, but I can't even find a price. See? I'm trying to do more merch in this uh, vlog. 50 pounds, 50 euros, there you go. Um, it's really nice actually. And the t-shirt, oh it's got like a, like a, I don't know what you call that, where it goes from one colour to the other. And that is 30. It's a nice tote, what's the tote bag off? Oh it's teacups, T take me for a spin. Lovely, that's 25. Oh they've got like a little carousel, uh, a hat which is fun and they've got this like little bag small world which is 20 a carousel jumper I really like that oh I, I wonder if I should get this for Zoe this is the kind of thing Zoe would like how much is this I want to get Zoe something um, on this trip uh, because it's gonna be <laughs> a novelty being able to buy someone uh, buy Zoe a souvenir because she's always with me uh, So that's 50 euros. That's very tempting. I'm gonna take a picture. That's very very tempting Because that's kind of her color. It looks nice. It's stitched I'm gonna take a picture and uh, maybe maybe I'll buy it um, Some really really not like <laughs> I'm a huge, huge fan of all this attraction merch. This is what I want to see. This is this is uh, Curious Labyrinth. Ace, 26 euros for that. It's quite a plain t-shirt, but it's nice. Um, I really like this art though. I don't, I wouldn't buy this because it's too big, but that is 27 euros. That's really nice. And then it's on a few different things. So there's some notebooks. Oh, these are like a, a trio. Is it a trio? Yeah, it's a trio. So you've got Curious Labyrinth, Tower of Terror, and this last one seems a bit random, Indiana Jones. Um, I know it's a ride here, but it doesn't feel like it's one of the most popular ones. How much are those? Does it say? They are 19 euros, okay. And there's tin, oh it's a candle, that's nice. How much is that? 30, that's quite steep for a candle in my opinion. Water bottle. Oh, I like the tin with a bit like a biscuit tin. That's really nice. Okay, something is like smeared on this one. <laughs> it's 25. And then they've got tote bags. Oh, what's this? Is this like a little puzzle? <gasps> oh, I don't want to open it. I'm going to presume it's kind of like maybe building blocks. Oh, it is. Oh, my days. So you get like small world building blocks. That's amazing. 50 euros. I love that. Oh, I'd definitely buy that if I had children. And then a nice um, 16 euros for a nice small world notebook. That is nice. I do like that. Very nice. Oh my days, they've got merch for the dragon. Like a little, a little backpack and you get a little dragon's tail and the wings. That's very fun. That's 30 euros. I am a fan of all this merch. I do enjoy this. Oh my goodness, let me put this into the light. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Oh my goodness, I love that. <laughs> I don't know how much this is, but it's adorable. 45 euros. What do they call these? Oh, and it's got the, uh, that on the back. That is amazing. A little Peter Pan's flight zip up. I'm gonna guess that's around 45 50 again. Right, I need to put this back before uh, I lose where it was from. Loads of bowls there. Like, if you want a, a stitched cereal bowl, and who wouldn't, uh, you can have one of them for 11 euros. Nice. And then this looks like kind of, oh, I've seen these ears. A lot of people have been talking about these ears because they've only just come out. And they're stitch ears, but they're for Paris. And it shows how much stitch is loved in Paris. 
So he's got his very own stitch Paris ears. Nice. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is like a Disneyland Paris Udi, like, kind of. <laughs> That's very nice. How much is that? I mean, I've got an Udi. I've got a very nice Udi. I don't need another one. How much is it? 60. Okay, so it's like Udi price, really. Not too bad. Nice. This is very... I'm, I'm a fan of this shop. Uh, I like the Frontier one as well. Um, but I do like this shop. Oh, I like that. I think I prefer the Pirates of the Caribbean zipped one though. Um, right, I think I'm done in here. Oh, let's let's go and have a little wonder and have a look at the uh, the pins. Oh, look! <laughs> Do snow globes are snow, like like these kind of snow globes? Like obviously the, there's like the luxury version of snow globes, but like are these popular still? <laughs> and people have these as souvenirs? How much are they? Eight euros. Bargain. What a bargain. Get yourself one of them, and then a, a hundred piece stitch jigsaw. Right. Um, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the pins. Nothing too mind blowing here. Yeah. Oh, I'm missing the top row. Oh, I like this. I like these, this style. It's quite cute. Uh, the new Disneyland Paris ones, these have only just come out within the past couple of weeks. Oh, I really like this. I'm very tempted to get something stitch on a pin because I don't think I've got a uh, stitch pin. Um, very nice. Right, I think we're done.
So that was Stars on Parade. Amazing, loved it. It's a shame <laughs> my my idea at the start was to have my camera on my mini tripod on the ground. Didn't quite work out because so many people were there and it was just just wasn't worth <laughs> trying to keep moving it every time someone stepped in the way, which they shouldn't do because it was they were stepping out of the bound of the uh, the border. But they were, so that's fine. Um, I thought it was best just to pick it up and film it. Um, oh my days! People are like go mental after the uh, after. Why, why are people running? It's like Peter Pan, five minutes or something. I, I, don't, I don't know why everyone's running. Um, great parade. Uh, I've not actually seen that parade. Um, for uh, I, I question whether I've even ever seen it fully, all the way through, uh, because um, last time we were here, I saw bits of it, and then the time before, it might have been a slightly different parade. I might be wrong. I can't quite remember though. Um, so yeah, very good. Uh, I feel like some of the float like why is the finding nemo one there there's not a single real character on there <laughs> like it's just a float for the sake of it uh, i also feel like stitch needs a float like his popularity i think like a stitch float with all the different experiments um like angel and co uh would be good uh but yeah great parade it's a shame there's not more than uh, one at the minute uh, because they're between parades, they're between, they finished the 30th and then they did the Halloween and they did the Christmas one uh, and now they're doing the colour one but it's not till February so we're between that that two parade uh, stint at the moment but it's okay. Uh, Peter Pan is 25 minutes so I don't know why, I don't know why else people would be running uh, this time of night. Anyway, I'm gonna have another wonder um, might go into the Emporium. Uh, it's probably going to be quite busy now though because of, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, parade's just finished so it's going to be mega. In fact, I dare, I think the parade will probably still be going down Main Street as we speak. So yeah, probably not a good idea to go there right now. But yeah, I'm going to go and have a wonder and then, uh, and then we'll see the drone show in about two hours. Uh, if I do anything interesting between now and then, I will film it, of course, but uh, but if not, see you later. <laughs> I think today's taken it out of me, uh, and there's another hour now until the drone show and the fireworks. It's like quarter to seven now. Um, I'm just so tired. I need to go grab something to eat. And uh, I think I need to head to bed, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's a shame that I've not managed the last to watch the, the drones. But we've got two more nights. Uh, so plenty of time to see the drones. I think, it's, I think it's a good call to head back now. Because eight's not late. However, it is very late when... Uh, when you've got uh, <laughs> got up at half four. Wow, look at that. The uh, people are in the Disneyland Hotel. Oh, it's so cool. One day, one day we'll stay there. Um, I think uh, that's something I'm looking forward to most, is Saturday, going to see uh, what the Royal Banquet's like.
and uh, who there is to meet. Oh, you won't be able to see them. I don't know if that's where the Royal, ba where, where Royal, the Royal Banquet is. It might be. Uh, I can just about, you won't, I don't think you'll be able to see them. On the right mirror, uh, there's like a princess mini uh, meeting with people. Uh, it looked like Princess Mini anyway. She had a tiara and stuff. Very cool. Ah, oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Because um, I don't know what any of the characters are. Um, obviously they will have all been announced or released or whatever by now. But at the minute, I just know that it's Mickey and Minnie. And others. So that's exciting. Right. So gonna grab some food on the way back and then head to back to Santa Fe okay so I've just grabbed some food from Earl of Sandwich and I think I'm gonna take it back to the room I think <laughs> I don't want to be out anymore any longer than I have to um, I desperately desperately need to just lie down I think <laughs> because uh, it's another early start tomorrow. Obviously not as early as today was, but uh, I'm gonna have to be, I think, leaving around 7.30, I think. Um, it's probably best, just so I can be in the park for eight, uh, because then I can take a couple of pictures in front of the castle and then head to Plaza Garden. Right. But, we haven't officially checked in yet, so uh, we're gonna go collect our keys, and then, um, I guess we'll do a room tour, <laughs> unless we do it on the last day. I haven't quite decided yet. Right, I'll catch up with you uh, when we get there. Okay, so I am in building 32 I believe. I'm in a meter room uh, and my room number is 122. So let's head in and uh, I'll give you the tour. Oh one other thing though, look how cool these cards are. Okay right so first off this room is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's so, because I've seen some with only one bed, I believe, and then you know the majority have two. But being as I was only on my own coming uh, booking this, I thought they were just going to give me a single room. So it's quite nice. They give me a double, means I can dump all my stuff on one bed and then sleep in the other. Can you tell which one I've uh, <laughs> I've, I've um, given for the dumping? Um, but yeah, you get two beds, which is nice. Um, everything's cars themed here, obviously, um, but it's quite nicely done, it's quite fun, um, and it's not, I don't think it's tacky, uh, I quite like it. So there's a lot of these, so let me turn one of these sets off so that you can, that's not the right one, that's that. So hopefully you can see that a bit better now. Um, so they are traffic cones, uh, there's a picture of Mater on the wall uh, asleep, uh, and then there's a runner all the way across the top which has got uh, the four, um, so there's four areas of this of this uh, resort. So there's the Lightning McQueen area, Mater area, the Sally area, and the uh, Luigi area. Um, and yeah, I love these lights, a great touch. Uh, the curtains have also got the, um, the traffic cones on them. They've, they've kept that sort of Coronado, I'm gonna call it Coronado because that's, what it reminds me of. It's like that uh, kind of, uh, is it like uh, Southwest, Ameri Southwestern American kind of like country kind of stuff, like Western kind of vibes. Um, the lampshade, amazing. I love it. Uh, TV, standard. The mirror is even the traffic cone. They've gone very hard on the traffic cone. Um, and then you get some drawers, which is nice. A bin. Um, it's got my uh, Earl of Sandwich wrapper in it. Um, 
obviously a mirror you've got a little it's like a i guess it's just somewhere to plonk your uh your luggage or whatever um i'm guessing this is maybe where a cafetiere or or a coffee machine or something lived once uh, when they used to offer that in these rooms if they ever did i don't know if they did then you can hang up stuff here you've got a safe which is useful and then the bathroom again very fun the theming it's um cars throughout so there is lots of uh santa fe theming as always uh there is a tissue box, which is always nice, <laughs> I guess. Uh, the uh, soap. Um, there is, oh, these are always my favorite things. Oh, let me show you the uh, the shower curtain and stuff. So the shower curtain is uh, the checkered flag and you've got it all the way throughout as well. And of course, everybody's favorite, you've got your, oh, it's not gonna focus, please focus, focus. Focus, there we go. So you've got your shampooing and you've got your uh, Apres shampooing. So um, there's your shampooing and your after shampooing. And then on the wall, you've got your shampooing and gel douche, um, or douche. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, what else is there? A big mirror, so hello, I'm here. Um, don't know how much selfie mode I've done today, so. Hello. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much the room. Uh, the fan is uh, is a fan. It makes noise that you don't want it to make when uh, when you press it. Uh, so I'm going to turn that off now. Um, but yeah, it's good. Um, it's fine for what I want. There's nothing luxury about it. It's a standard room, but it's a Disney standard room. So, you know, it's always got that extra spark. Um, it's always a nice added bonus having uh, having the Disney rooms because you can walk to the parks. Um, I tell you what, this place looks pretty cool at night uh, with the neon sign of Hotel Santa Fe. Um, if you did want to know, uh, I've had a new lease of life. Uh, it's currently, um, I don't know, um, about five to nine. Uh, and I thought I wanted a drink, uh, so I thought I'd come out and uh, go grab a drink, uh, try and find the vending machine and um, possibly have a wander around the shop um, before I head back and go to bed. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd come and have a look at the sign before, uh, before I do any of that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go and have a little wonder. So we're just in the lobby right now. Um, this is where they do a meet and greet at some point. I don't know when that is, I presume it's in the morning uh, at some point, but yeah, not sure when. It's very busy because I think everyone's either arrived um, after a late night, I guess, or it's um, people have just come in from the uh, uh, parks and they've watched the fireworks and stuff. Right, trading post ahead. That's where we want to go. Oh, this is the Starbucks. Nice. That is a, a pretty great thing to have as part of the hotel. Let's head to the trading post. Okay. Pretty standard uh, hotel Disney store, but um, I'm sure it's got what I'm after, which is going to be a pin. Oh my days, <laughs> all the Stitch stuff in the world, and there's even more Stitch stuff. There's four whole areas for Stitch alone, and then all these have got Stitch on as well. <laughs> I don't think there's enough Stitch around here. Oh, that's quite fun, you can get Stitch ears. <laughs> right. Oh, I really like the worlds of Mar uh, Marvel, the worlds of Pixar um, stuff. Like, that looks ace. Uh, wow. And then the spirit jersey, it's got loads of characters down the arm. And then on the back, that's ace. Love it. That's very nice. Very, very tempting. How much is that? I'm gonna guess 80. I am correct. 80 euros. Nice. Right. I spotted the pins. They're right next to the uh, checkout, so I'll have a look at them in a second. Just need to have another look at the uh, stitch stuff, though. That's important. Uh, oh, there's even a stitch um, little figure uh, ornament. Um, how much is that? Because there's a Mickey, a mini, and a stitch. 
and they are 22 euros so I guess they're quite a nice keepsake I guess showed you those stitchy ears right let's go and have a look at the pins so here's all the uh, 2024 pins not seen that one yet uh, I like that one quite like the look of this one and the stitch one the stitch one's quite nice um, and then there's a bunch of uh, ones there we've seen everywhere although I have not seen this one which is quite fun um, yeah lots of attraction ones lots of, lots of stitch in like different scenarios different parts of uh, of uh, Disneyland Paris including uh, this one which I really like but I've just noticed there's no resort pin which is very disappointing um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now without a resort pin. Oh, it's thrown all my plans in the air. I do really like this one though. And it's very um, surprisingly, it's only 13 euros. So it's very tempting. So glad I came uh, like an hour ago. Like the queue since the fireworks are finished. It's crazy. Right. I'm just going to head back to uh, the room now. Uh, I've done my exploring. Not got everything I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do? I wanted to try and find a vending machine to get a hot drink, but I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be at doing that. So I found the vending machines, uh, and they're not too far from me, which is quite nice. Uh, they're not in every building, but they're in the building next to me, which is really helpful. So uh, let's see if I can uh, get myself a hot chocolate before I uh, head to bed. Okay, so I've got it in English. I'm going to go hot chocolate. I presume that's... Uh, what do I want? Chocolate or chocolate intense? I'm going to go chocolate, I think. Okay, so I got two hot chocolates in the end and they were so hot, they were scalding my hands so I had to <laughs> put the camera down and carry them sensibly rather than trying to juggle everything. So um, I think, I might be wrong, but I think you get a, a four um, drink limit. Uh, so they're quite small, uh, which I presume is why you get four. Um, but we're going to test that tomorrow. I've only had two today. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably get two coffees in the morning and then maybe uh, two of these in the evening uh, if I'm allowed, if it lets me. Um, but yeah, let's try it. I wasn't too impressed, so I had a, um, I forgot to mention this earlier, just before the parade, I had a cheese pretzel and a, what did I have? A hot chocolate. Um, and it was from one of those like vending, uh, not vending machines, it was like the, the like winter, Christmas market booths outside Small World. Uh, so I had a hot chocolate from there and I wasn't too impressed. Uh, it didn't taste amazing, it tasted a bit gritty. Um, and if, if you've had it from there, you'll know what I mean. Um, but yeah, let's try one of these. That, that's actually really good. That's, uh, I could definitely go to sleep every night with, uh, with a couple of these. Um, yeah. yeah. It's been amazing today. I have loved every minute of this. It's, it was a bit tiring at the end, which is uh, why I just, I just had an hour and a half before the fireworks and I just couldn't do it. I, uh, I held on for another 20 minutes and I was like, you know what, I can't, I can't do it. I can't wait another um, 70, 80 minutes um, you know, two hours by the time you've actually got back to the room. Um, and you saw just, if I'd have finished the fireworks and then gone back and had to wait in the lobby, uh, in that massive queue, I just, it would have killed me, I think. So, uh, I'm really happy with the decision I made because again, early start tomorrow, starting at, um, got to be in the park by eight. Uh, so ideally I want to be up. Ideally, I want to have left here absolute latest half seven just so I'm over there and waiting for them to let me in rather than them letting me in straight as soon as I get there, if that makes sense. 
Oh, one thing though. Um, I really enjoyed the Earl of Sandwich that I had. I think I had the Italian, I think it was called. Um, so it's like, it's basically like a, or it's quite similar to a BMT, if you've ever had one of them from Subway. Uh, it's like a, an elevated version of that though, I'd say. Um, really good. Uh, and what's nice is I had that to take away uh, and I walked from Earl of Sandwich all the way to the lobby, checked in officially, grabbed my case, come back here, and then ate it at that point, and it was still warm. So, you know, if you ever wanted to do that, that's a top, top tier thing to do. Um, oh, this is one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I might have mentioned it uh, earlier on and I forgot, but I tried the, um, the free upgrade trick um, for budget airlines. I think it only works with budget airlines, I might be wrong. But basically, the trick is to go to your gate, as you would normally, but then just sit there and wait for everybody else to get on the plane, uh, or at least everyone to queue up. And then at that point, so, you know, you're not going to miss it because there's people still queuing for the tra uh, for the plane. Did I say train all that time? I meant plane. If I said train, I meant plane. Anyway, um, wait for everyone to queue up um, and get in line. And then you join the line. And so you're the last on or one of the last to get on the plane. And then when you get on the plane, you've basically got free reign. Um, you can choose wherever you want to sit. And when I got on the plane, there was a front row seat, the front, a whole row free, in fact, three seats next to each other with extra leg room, window seat, aisle seat, middle seat if I really wanted it, um, and I could choose any of them, so I just thought, you know what, let's, let's go for it. So um, I was well chuffed with that. I don't know how much the upgrade would have been, it's probably like 30 quid, something like that. Uh, to buy that seat uh, earlier in the day, so don't do it if you're on your own. That's one of the massive, massive pros of solo traveling. You can do that. Um, you can just go for it and, you know, it, what's the worst that can happen? Just be like, oh, sorry, I read my ticket wrong. And then you go and sit in your real seat. So, you know, but yeah, no one checked it. No one, no one, no one's bothered. If you're in a seat and, <laughs> and you know, nobody else is trying to sit in that seat, then it's fine. So yeah, do that. It's a it's a great tip. I loved it. Um, I might try it again to, on the way home. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how brave I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, it's been an amazing first day uh, and I can't wait for tomorrow um, with Plaza Breakfast um, and all that kind of fun stuff. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the rambles today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first uh, day as a solo traveller in Disneyland Paris. See you in the next one. Bye.